A magnificent maiden hundred in just his second first class game from Matthew Critchley ensured that Northamptonshire didn't have it all their own way on the first day of the LV County Championship match at Derbyshire's 3A County Ground in spite of a five wicket haul for Azarella. After being put in, Derbyshire made a fine start through Ben Slater and Chesney Hughes, the two finding the boundary on a number of occasions, the returning David Willey giving the former some balls to hit, while Hughes was a little fortunate when this edge evaded the slip cordon. Another nick of Azarulla brought an end to an opening partnership of 65, Slater on his way for 37 just when he was looking good. Hughes tried to keep going now in company with South African skipper Hashim Amla, who was making his Derbyshire debut. It was one, though, that didn't last long, because after Hughes on 40 chose the wrong ball from Azarulla to leave alone, Rory Kleinfeld had his fellow countryman Amla leg before on the back pad. Derbyshire lost a third wicket in the space of just 10 balls for three runs when Scott Elston, fresh from his maiden 100 in Cardiff last week, was trapped in front by Azarulla before he troubled the scorers this time. So the home side went to the lunch break on 92 for four and soon lost two more wickets to successive balls. Shiv Thakur top edged a quick bumper from Stephen Crook behind before the all-rounder banged his next delivery in short again to find the edge of Harvey Hussain's bat, Stephen Peters clutching on at slip. Derbyshire were now in trouble on 103 for six and their opponents would have fancied finishing things off fairly quickly but Wayne Madsen and Critchley started a fight back, which went on for much of the rest of the day, their partnership adding 48 runs just when they were badly needed. Some excellent keeping from Adam Rossington then saw the back of Madsen, the gloveman alert when the forceful edge was parried. The home captain was on his way for 25 at 151 for 7. In spite of seeing some of his teammates fall to the short ball, Critchley still went after it when he could. He got away with this before producing a better shot of the very next ball, which brought the 18-year-old leg-break bowler a second successive boundary. A tall lad for his age, Critchley, who made his first-class debut just last week, didn't mind the short stuff too much, this shot off Crook carrying the distance. A slightly more fortunate stroke then took the youngster to his maiden first-class 50. In what was just his second innings, he made eight in his first in Cardiff last week, but was now raising his bat after getting to a half century of 67 balls, from which he'd struck five fours and that one six. And he wasn't the only one to make a personal best. Tom Taylor, only 20 years of age himself, was to do the same later. This cover drive first bringing up a 50 run stand and a batting bonus point for his team. Critchley came out after T with 59 runs to his name and he was soon moving further through the numbers. He hails from Preston, like Andrew Flintoff, and has come through the Derbyshire Academy, only being registered ahead of the last game due to the amount of injuries in the East Midlanders' camp. That has worked out rather nicely for Derbyshire. Critchley's heart must have been pumping as he launched Rob Keogh over the top to move into the 90s to close in on becoming the youngest Derbyshire player to make a first-class tonne. 17-year-old Daniel Lawrence has already achieved that this summer for Essex and aged 18 years and 270 days. Critchley now had a three-figure score of his own and what a way to get there with a six off Josh Cobb. It brought up his ton off 141 balls, two sixes and 11 fours included. Derbyshire have unearthed a new star. What a moment it was for one so young. He kept his concentration going too, playing fearless cricket more short stuff was sent to the boundary as this partnership moved into the 150s and the total into the 300s. Taylor was able to pass his previous best of 40 made in his debut season against Leicestershire last year. He missed out on a maiden half century by only one run. Another short delivery this time bringing Kleinfeld to wicket at last to end a stand of 162. It was only 36 shy of the best ever eight wicket partnership for the county. Even though the ball was fairly new, Northamptonshire still couldn't finish things off. Ben Cotton now helped Critchley add 28 more. A missed time pull of Azarulla brought an end to Cotton's innings on 19. 
And then three balls later, a rasping drive from Mark Footit warmed the hands of Azarella, who was very thankful to have a five-wicket haul for the first time this season. He ended with figures of five for 59. Critchley was left undefeated on an extraordinary 137, an innings he will never forget. From 151 for seven, Derbyshire rallied to 343 all out, thanks mostly to their number eight. Northamptonshire survived the one over that remained, Azarella coming out as a night watchman to play out a maiden.